Hi everyone, welcome to Imaging Study. Today we are going to see a case of neonatal cerebral edema. A 17 days old child was admitted to neonatal intensive care unit on its fourth day of life with a history of term delivery at 39 plus week. The weight at birth was around 2.6 kg. There was a history of meconium aspiration, parental asphyxia and hypoxic ischemic encephalopathy. The neonate was also suffering from jaundice and candida species infection. The baby was in ventilation. We have done a portable ultrasound in NICU for this patient and let's see what we have got on ultrasound. Here you can see the sagittal section of the brain. It apparently looks quite normal except for the corpus callosum. The corpus callosum looks quite darker than its usual ecogenicity. It is quite thickened. So when we see that corpus callosum looks darker and solid, we need to evaluate the surrounding brain parenchyma carefully. Here is the coronal section. You see the periventricular ecogenicity is slightly increased, but the overall brain parenchyma looks hypoechoic. If you compare it with a normal brain, the surrounding sulci are effaced. To evaluate further, we need to go for a high frequency view. With a high frequency view on sagittal section, you can see the brain parenchyma is diffusely hypoechoic. You see the cerebral gyri are thickened, causing effacement of the sulci. The corpus callosum is thickened and hypoechoic. From primary impression, the cordothalamic groups look quite normal, but there is a tiny ecogenic focus in left cordothalamic group, which we'll see more clearly on our coronal section. Here's the coronal section with a high frequency transducer and the cerebral parenchyma is diffusely hypoechoic with thickening of gyri and effacement of sulci. You see the periventricular regions show increased ecogenicity also. So this is a case of cerebral edema along with type 1 periventricular leukomalacia. This is the choroid plexus in the left lateral ventricle. If you check carefully, there is a tiny ecogenic focus at the cordothalamic groove adjacent to the frontal horn of left lateral ventricle. This is separated from the choroid plexus, indicating the germinal matrix hemorrhage. Here's the picture. You can see the coronal section. The periventricular ecogenicity is slightly increased, though the overall brain parenchyma is hypoechoic with effacement of sulci. There is ecogenic focus separated from the choroid plexus at the left cordothalamic groove, indicating the germinal matrix hemorrhage. Here's the coronal and sagittal sections, and you can see the corpus callosum is thickened and hypoechoic. The overall brain parenchyma is also hypoechoic with thickening of the gyri, indicating cerebral edema. Here's the linear transducer view, and you can see the thickening of the gyri as well as the corpus callosum with diffuse hypoechogenicity is well visualized. Again another picture with the coronal and sagittal sections. We have checked the middle cerebral artery for further evaluation and the diastolic flow was slightly increased. So in summary, diffuse swelling of the cerebral gyri with heterogeneous hypoechogenicity and effacement of sulci are seen along with solen hypoechoic corpus callosum, indicating it as a case of cerebral edema. There is periventricular increased ecogenicity indicating periventricular leukomalacia type 1. 
we have seen an oncogenic focus at the left cardiothalamic groove indicating the germinal matrix hemorrhage or type 1 intracranial hemorrhage. Now the take home message. Edematous or solen corpus callosum may guide you to diagnose cerebral edema and or encephalitis. Thank you for watching this video. Subscribe to our YouTube channel for more. If you want more videos about the neonatal brain ultrasound, then don't forget to comment below. See you on the next one. Have a nice day.